that more results to get to soon, but right now we're going to turn to our crews who have been working hard to bring you the best reaction for some of the Inland Northwest's biggest races. Taylor Graham is downtown in Spokane tonight. She's covering those school bonds we just mentioned. Ariana Lake is here in studio with us tracking results of Washington's big initiative races. And joining us from Kootenai County is Caroline Rourke. She's bringing us results and reaction from around the state of Idaho. And Kyle Simchuk, Drew Reeves covering Washington's 5th District Congressional Race, which is what we're going to focus on now. It was a long-fought and expensive battle. As we mentioned moments ago, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers winning an 8th term now to Congress in Eastern Washington's 5th District. Drew Reeves spent the evening at Congresswoman McMorris Rogers' watch party at the mm -hmm. Grand Hotel in downtown Spokane tonight. That's where he joins us now. Drew, yet another big victory for the Congresswoman. Uh, what did they have to say going, what did she have to say going into her 8th term? Well, Aaron, she's very excited to be heading back to Washington, D.C. to represent Eastern Washington. And it was a surprising night here uh, at her party. People were not expecting results to come in this early. And some told me they weren't expecting Kathy McMorris Rogers to have the lead that she does right now. During her victory speech, the Congresswoman uh, told supporters that she will continue the work she's been doing here in Eastern Washington. She said that she plans to focus on border security, building the economy of Eastern in Washington and continuing to build Fairchild Air Force Base. This was a hard fought race for the Congresswoman who leads Lisa Brown by nearly 12% right now. But as she heads back to Washington, things will be a little different this time around. Rather than a DC controlled by Republicans, she now goes back to a House of Representatives with a Democratic majority. However, the Congresswoman said she's not worried and is used to working with the other party. I have great relationships. Uh, I can work across the aisle. All of the legislation that I've worked on this year has enjoyed bipartisan support. And I'll continue to, to work on issues related to hydropower and forestry and veterans and health care and helping kids with disabilities. And as we said, this is an important election for Kathy McMorris Rogers. She has held her seat for 14 years. Now she's secured another two. She continues the dominance of Republicans in the 5th Congressional District. Her seat has been held by a Republican since George Nethercutt Jr. beat House Speaker Tom Foley in 1994. Now Kathy McMorris Rogers said she is excited to get back to DC and to DC and continue her work, but she says she'll also be active here in Eastern Washington. She said she will continue to hold unity dinners and town hall events here in the Spokane area. Reporting from the Davenport Grand, Drew Reeves, KXY4 News. Drew, thank you. And things were much more somber in tone at the Riverside Events Center, where Lisa Brown held her campaign watch party. Kyle Simchuk joins us there now. Kyle, perhaps the biggest surprise of the night wasn't that Lisa Brown lost, but just how quickly she conceded. Well, absolutely, Aaron. Many of her supporters were just simply shocked, to be honest, that she conceded so quickly. Many people thought this race was going to last well into tomorrow with more votes to be counted. But as soon as Lisa Brown took the stage around 845, she made it clear this race was over. Take a listen to that moment. So here's where we are with this race. There aren't enough votes to make up the difference. I, I have called Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers and congratulated her on her victory. And I want you to join me in thanking her and her family for the sacrifice it is to be a public servant. Let's thank her for that. And shortly after that, close to 1,000 supporters left. The band packed up, and the whole place cleared out by 945. We went up to several voters. The majority of them did not want to talk on camera. I was really disappointed about uh, Lisa Brown not winning. I was hoping that with more people moving from Seattle and Portland that we would have a little bit more of a diver diverse uh, reaction. So um, I'm hoping she can run again in two years. Go, Lisa. And Lisa Brown's campaign told us that she would come speak to reporters after her speech, after those initial results were in, but that never happened. We were unable to interview Ms. Brown this evening. 